Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest Open Season. Uh, it's been Christmas, so a little while since I recorded the last episode and I can't really remember what we were doing. Um, the file name says that we found information on um, Dennis Walker and Strauss, uh, which I vaguely remember was something to do with the computer here. We got names of like an affiliation or something. Um, I know we also submitted a form to this guy who is finally off of the phone. Um, so let's just do a quick rundown of the inventory. Um... Okay, I don't think we've got any more forms. Are we able to... Hey, it's unprofessional to be snooping around another detective's workspace. I mean, I thought that was our workspace, to be honest. It's all kind of merging into one thing here. Um, are we able to get more of those forms? Were they in the drawer? You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer. Okay, can we... Your report can fit on the form you already have. Okay, so, fine. So, I wonder if we just have to, like, keep using those forms, just keep, like, using the pen on the notebook just to fill in everything as it happens and then submit it to to our partner here, just as a, a way of, you know, properly documenting what it is we're doing in our job. Um, that's what I'm going to try to do anyway, whether or not it's, you know, overkill, I don't know. Um, but... You call the elevator. We've got this information on Dennis Walker and Strauss. Um, they seem to be some sort of like extreme, you know, racially motivated or like, you know, you know what I mean by that. They like have like a hatred of anyone who isn't, you know, part of their culture by the looks of, you know, what the file said. So I don't know. Um, it seems like you select the lobby as your destination. It seems like this group they're part of could be of interest to us, um, and they could be, you know, you know, targeting specific people um, to, you know, basically commit racist murders from the from the sounds of things. So definitely worth checking them out. I don't know if we've got like any information on where we can find them or anything like that. Um, can we? We have got the map. Uh, okay, there is something up here. Dennis Walker's place. Uh, yeah, Manny's estate we've been to, so we, that that is a new location. We've also got the original crime scene. Uh, the Park Centre, which is where we are. The morgue. The police academy, which is the shooting range. I do want to go back there at some point, but I've been told that it is potentially bugged. So if you go back there, it can... Um, can get you like stuck so um, i might not do that i did all right at the shooting range i think so i think i might just wing it if we have to do the test um so i tell you what maybe we go to Dev dennis walker's place and um see what happens here um I, I mean i imagine we might need to get a warrant or something similar to in the the previous games but maybe not let's um just see what happens dennis walker's house all right. Um, what's what Both we got? the apartment building and the neighborhood are run down. All right, so we're in a rundown part of the town. So, according to the latest information that apartment has, this is the front door of Dennis Walker's apartment. Okay, so this is where he lives. Um, I don't know if we want to potentially put our vest on just in case he's armed. The situation does not call for added protection. No. Okay. Doesn't call for that. I'm thinking maybe we have the gun handy though, just just in case. Because you know, if he is as violent as his record suggests, then perhaps it's worth being prepared. So actually, um, let me just save over that save we just made so that we've got the gun prepped. Do we knock? Mm. Yeah. Someone is here. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Bugger off, faggot. Oh, okay. I mean, really? Just gonna jump straight to, you know, homophobia, fine. Um, let's, hang on, let's restore, because actually, I think we probably want to show our badge, right? I mean, yeah, this, this guy, already I can tell he's a piece of work. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, what do you think of this? I'm Detective Carey, LAPD. Are you Dennis Walker? Yeah. Yeah, do you mind uh, answering some questions? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, come on in. Oh, okay. Fine. 
Well, he's let us in. I wasn't expecting. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Okay, this is, uh... Looks like Aryan Brotherhood propaganda. Yeah, so we've got, like, swastikas. stickers. We've got, like, Nazi memorabilia here. Yeah. All right, well, we're in the right place. Walker is larger and meaner than you might have oh. first suspected, Detective. Damn, he is uh, indeed a big fellow. Um, let's get that ready, just in case we need it. Um, what's Possibly this? Possibly this table is a hand-me-down from Walker's parents. What, why are we assuming it's from his parents? That's a bit of a... Detective, Walker can't be all bad. He has pet fish. He has pet fish, right, yeah, so forget the, the racism and the homophobia, he has fish, so that's fine, you know. Walker has quite a stereo setup. Okay, he's got a stereo setup. Can we... All right, oh, right, we can just... Yo, money, last contact with yo, money, music, music, volume. Music? What is this music you're playing? It's from the Fatherland. It's my fucking favorite. Right. Okay, music volume. I can barely hear you. Could we turn it down a little? What's he got in his hand? Go ahead, turn it down. Okay, oh, okay, so we can turn it down so we can talk to him. Maybe we have to ask to do that first. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, let's go. General. All right, okay, can you get out of the way, please? Can you... Oh, wh what? Okay. You've been caught off guard and killed. May you rest in... <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so maybe we don't turn that down, seeing as, you know, that seems to make him run. Maybe we don't give, give him a chance to run. Yeah. Let's try that again. All right, um, we'll show him the badge. I'm Detective Carey, LAPD. Are you Dennis Walker? Yeah. Can we come in? C can we come in? Oh, okay, I'd we have like to manually click here. Questions. Yeah, come on in. All right, so he lets us, he doesn't look that big from here. All right, let's save in here because we don't want to die again. All right, I mean, so can we, can we ask him about other things? Dennis, you know a man by the name of Yo Money. He has a restraining order against you, is that correct? I can't hear ya! Ah, so he's gonna, he's gonna do that, is he? Fine. So he runs, maybe we can, like, chat- Stay where you are. Do not move. Okay, uh, I, I get the feeling we might need a gun! She stabbed us in the butt. She stabbed us in the butt, okay. We're dead again. So, let's prep our gun early this time. Fine, we'll turn this down. Let's get the gun out. Down on the floor. Uh, do we talk? Freeze. Hands in the air. Keep them where I can see them. Is she, is she okay, she's gonna do it. Do we, do we? Drop the knife. Put your hands behind your head. Turn around. Okay. Drop to your knees. Now. Turn around. All right. So we do have handcuffs, don't we? Yes, we do. Cuff her. There's no need to shoot her, right? You have the right to remain silent. Ooh, that girlfriend of Walker's what? is something else. Tough for being so petite. Uh, oh, Junior, all women are bears. Goddamn grizzlies. I, I, what if you thought that little tomato was tough? Wait till you meet Garcia's mamacita. Now that's one tough bitch. Uh, She's in giving the lieutenant an ear full right now. Poor son of a bitch. Okay. Um. I am Rosa Garcia. Are you the detective investigating the death of my son? Uh, yes. Let's save. So, I mean, we just suddenly, like, teleported back here. There's no, like, transition screens or anything in this game. You just literally go from, like, full-on action to somewhere else instantly. It's a bit, um, it's a bit disorienting, actually. It breaks the sort of immersion of the game as well, I think. Anyway, um, I guess we arrested that woman. 
And now we're here. Uh, yes, I think. Yes, I'm Detective John Carey. Let me extend my sincere sympathy for your loss, Mrs. Garcia. I didn't know Renee personally, but I... Well, I knew my son, Detective, and he was a good boy. He lived at home with me. He helped me with my errands. He went to church. Okay. I have been told by your lieutenant and the coroner that Renee's poor body was found exposed. I want a person responsible for doing this to my son caught and punished. I mean, yes, Mrs. Garcia, that's the goal. I understand. Do you understand, detective? Do you have a son? Mm, well, no. Think so. Well, then you do not understand. Rene helped to take care of me. I have heart trouble. I cannot do heavy lifting. Rene cleaned the house. He did the laundry, cook our meals. Maybe, maybe he once in a while would go to a movie, but he did not date any of those fast-talking modern type women. He was waiting for a good girl. He was saving himself. And for what? For some pervert to strip him, murder him. You find who did this to my son? Find who killed my son, my beautiful son. Right, well, I think I think Gossy is the one who I see what you mean, Hal. I mean, yeah, she's got one hell of a personality, aren't you? I mean, it's pretty understandable given that her son was murdered. So, I mean, not sure we should be making light of her reaction to that, guys. Um, but yeah, I, I think her her son is the one that was found at Yo Money's estate, wasn't he? So that that's that's the mum. I mean, that that is I don't know. Like I said, lots of things about this game just get on my nerves. So um, we have this form. So do we write up the form now? You complete the report on Wendy James' arrest and attempted assault on an officer. Okay. Yep. So let's standard weight. Yep. I'm not trying to feel the weight of the form. You'll need to stand up and move to accomplish that. <sighs> really? I'm all for like realism in games, but that's just like too far, isn't it? Here you go, Hal. Sure, Junior. All right, more points for that. Good. Uh, can we grab another form while we're here? Uh, yeah, we can. I think. Yep. You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer. Okay. Close the drawer. Uh, is there anything? Your desk is covered with snippets from past cases in daily life. Okay. Is there anything in our basket? A memo from Lieutenant Block. Okay, there's a memo. What does that say? Is, is that it? Lieutenant Block, funeral of Robert Hickman, Tuesday at 10 a.m. All personnel encouraged to attend. Uh, today's Tuesday, right? I think. Pretty sure today's Tuesday. Although, does the game actually tell you what day it is? I don't know if it does. Uh, what what day is it? Hal appears immersed in his work. Better leave him be. I think wasn't the shooting, the shooting range test on the Wednesday, and I, I'm sure we were saying that was tomorrow. What? Uh, can we come in? Excuse me, I'm on an important call. All right, fine. So does it does it say anything else? It just says funeral of Robert Hickman, time Tuesday, 10 a.m. Okay, I mean, it's, we can't go to the map from here. Where is the funeral? Can we go to, like, the cemetery or something? Crematorium? Um, I don't really know. Let's try and head down, anyway. You call the elevator. We haven't got any more evidence to submit i don't think i don't think we got anything from that crime scene well not crime scene well i suppose it was a crime scene because we arrested the girlfriend for trying to kill us with the knife right um all right you select the lobby as your destination but it does mean that dennis walker is on the run so and now he knows that we're potentially on to him which isn't great We can go to the map from here. Let's see if there's there's Yo Money's, there's Dennis Walker's place. I don't think well we could go back there, I suppose. Crime scene, Parker Centre, Morgue. 
and the shooting range in Hickman's house. Um, I mean, maybe we go to Hickman's house? I mean, possibly. I, d I don't know. What happens if we click here, by the way? Where does that take us to? Or just outside? Okay, fine. All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, we'll try and figure out where this funeral is in the next one. I guess we'll probably go to Hickman's house and maybe, like, meet all of his family and then go there or, or something. I don't know. That's what I'd imagine will happen, but we shall see. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, and Flossie the Sheep. And I'll see you next time.